Kingdom Manera. The Kingdom Manera includes prokaryotes. They are microscopic and typically unicellular organisms. They lack a well-defined nucleus. That means the nuclear membrane is absent. They are also devoid of membrane-bound organelles like mitochondria, blastids, Golgi bodies and endoplasmic reticulum. But they possess numerous ribosomes which are of 70S type. Bacteria do not have nucleus but have genetic material such as DNA concentrated near the center region of cell forming nucleoid. Bacteria have a tough and rigid cell wall like plant cells and it is made up of peptidoglycan. It provides the cell structural support and protection. Though made of single cell, many bacteria have filament-like flagella which can literally rotate and act like a propeller to make the bacteria move. There are small hair-like structures called as pili on the bacterial cell which help it to connect with other bacteria. Kingdom Monera is divided into two groups. One is Archaebacteria and the second is Eubacteria. Archae means primitive whereas U means true. The Archaebacteria are found in harsh and extreme environments. Eubacteria are found in normal environmental conditions. Archaebacteria are further divided into three types. One is methanogens, second is thermoacidophiles and the third one is halophiles. Methanogens are found in places which are deprived of oxygen such as marshes and swamps. Example methanococcus. Thermoacidophiles are found in hot and acidic environment such as hot springs with low pH. Example thermoplasma. While as halophiles are found in salty environment like great salt sea and dead sea. Example halococcus. There are approximately seven major groups of eubacteria. First one is actinomycetes. Actinomycetes are gram positive soil bacteria. They form the branching filaments. For example, streptomyces. Second one is chemoautotrophs. Chemoautotrophs obtain energy from inorganic chemicals such as hydrogen sulfide, ammonia and methane. They play a key role in nitrogen fixation. For example, nitrobacter and nitrosomonas. Third group is cyanobacteria. They are the photosynthetic bacteria. For example, anabina, nostoc, spirulina. Fourth group is mycoplasma. They are the unicellular non-motile prokaryotes. They are found in sewage water. They are parasites which cause diseases. For example, mycoplasma pneumoniae. The fifth one is enterobacteria. They are the gram-negative bacteria and they are pathogenic. For example, Escherichia coli, Salmonella, Vibrio cholerae. The sixth one is Rickettsias and Chlamydias. These are the small gram-negative bacteria and they are pathogenic. For example, Rickettsia and Chlamydia. And the seventh one is Spirochetes. These are the long coil-shaped cells with flagella at both ends. And they are pathogenic. For example, 
Treponema. There are four main shapes of bacteria. First one is cocci, and the singular of this cocci is called as coccus. Coccus is the round shaped bacteria, or we can say it is a spherical shaped bacteria. Its example is Lactobacillus acidophilus. The second shape is called as bacilli and the singular is called as bacillus. The bacillus is a rod shaped bacteria. Its example is Streptococcus pneumoniae. The third shape is called as spirilla whose singular is called as spirillum. These are the corkscrew shaped bacteria. For example, Helicobacter pylori. And the fourth shape is called as Vibrios. Its singular is called as Vibrio. These are the comma shaped bacterium. For example, Vibrio cholerae. Spherical bacteria exist singly called as monococcus and the two cocci can exist together and this condition is called as diplococcus. The cocci can join and form a chain-like structure called as streptococcus and the cocci can be present in groups called as staphylococcus. The rod-shaped bacteria which is called as bacillus it can exist singly or the two rod shaped bacteria can exist together which is called as diplobacillus or they can exist in groups or clusters which is called as streptobacillus. And this is the Vibrio which is the comma shaped bacteria and this shape is possessed by a bacterium called as Vibrio cholerae and this is the corkscrew shaped bacteria which is called as spirillum. Gram stain or gram staining which is also called as Gram's method is a method of staining which is used to distinguish and classify bacterial species into two large groups. One is Gram positive bacteria and the second one is Gram negative bacteria. The name comes from the Danish bacteriologist Hans Christian Gram who developed the technique. The differences between Gram positive and Gram negative bacteria are that the Gram positive bacteria possesses a thick peptidoglycan layer while as the gram negative bacteria they possess the thinner peptidoglycan layer the gram negative bacteria they possess an extra layer outside the peptidoglycan layer which is called as outer lipid membrane while as this layer or the membrane is absent in gram positive bacteria and the third and the main difference is that the gram positive bacteria they stain purple due to the gram stain while as the gram negative bacteria do not retain the gram stain Reproduction in bacteria. Most bacteria reproduce by a process called binary fission. In this process, a parent cell divides to form two daughter cells. Most bacteria reproduce by a process called binary fission. During binary fission, the parent cell divides to form two daughter cells. In the first step of binary fission, the bacterium replicates or copies its chromosome and attaches its identical copy to a separate location on the cell membrane. 
Unlike eukaryotic cells, bacteria do not need to dissolve a nuclear membrane or assemble a mitotic spindle, making binary fission very quick and efficient. Second, the cell elongates. Since the chromosomes are attached to different locations on the cell membrane, they separate from one another. Third, the bacterium pinches off at the center and forms a septum, a separating wall between the two compartments of the cell. Finally, the cell splits into two new daughter cells. The cells are fully mature bacteria that can grow and if the conditions are right, continue the binary fission process. Thank you.